Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Sewing your own decorative throw pillow is a great DIY project for all sewing levels. There are many different styles of pillows, but today I'm going to make a basic throw pillow that's sewn closed. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard of fabric, this is HGTV turtle shell turquoise, a pillow form, I'm using an 18 by 18 inch down pillow, a ruler, scissors, a hand sewing needle, a fabric marker, pins, and thread. First, I'm going to cut two panels for the front and back of the pillow. My pillow form is 18 by 18 inches, but I'm going to make a cover one inch smaller to create a nice full looking pillow. So I want the finished dimensions of the cover to be 17 by 17 inches. I'm going to use a half inch seam allowance on all sides, so add an inch to those measurements and cut two 18 by 18 inch pieces. If you're working with a patterned fabric, pay attention to which part of the pattern you want to see and if you want it centered. Align the two squares of fabric with the right sides facing and pin them together. I'm going to sew around the edges of the pillow, leaving a large opening at the bottom, about two inches in from the corners. Using a half inch seam allowance, start sewing at one end of the opening. Back stitch to lock in the stitches. When you get half an inch from the corner, leave the needle in the fabric, lift the presser foot, and pivot 90 degrees. Then lower the presser foot and continue sewing around the pillow until you get back to the bottom and sew the final two inches. Backstitch again and raise the needle and press our foot. Next, trim all four corners to remove extra bulk. Cut at an angle close to the stitches without cutting into them. Then turn the pillow cover right side out. Use your finger or something with a point to push the corners all the way out. Lay the cover flat and iron the edges of the fabric under half an inch at the opening. Now insert the pillow form and arrange it until it fills out the cover. Finally, I'm going to hand stitch the opening closed using an invisible stitch. Thread the needle and make a knot at the end. I'm doubling up the thread for extra strength. Bring the needle up through one of the ironed edges so the knot is hidden. Then go to the opposite side and slide the needle through the top of the fold so you pick up a little bit of fabric. Next, go directly across to the other side and do the same thing. Repeat this a couple more times. The trick to this stitch is when you go from side to side, go straight across so the thread is perpendicular to the folds. The thread will start to look like the rungs on a ladder. When you pull the thread taut, the stitches will disappear. Continue this process down the opening, pulling the thread taut every couple of stitches. When you get to the end, pick up a bit of fabric like before. This time, bring the needle through the loop of thread so you form a knot. Then repeat this going through the knot you just made. Do this once more just to make sure it's extra secure. Finally, to hide the tail of the thread, go down through the knot out the side of the fabric and snip the thread. And here's the finished throw pillow. It's easy to make and a quick way to update your decor with the fabric of your choosing. Thanks for watching this OFS project.